Hey, it's Alec here from Build Nerd. In today's video, I review the Wham Bam flexible build plate for my Elgu Saturn. I go over the install as well as the small piece that I had to print in order to allow the system to work properly. Let's check it out. So the Wham Bam flexible build plate system is a great buy for the Elegoo Saturn as well as any resin printer. As you know, things can get stuck to the build plate very easily and very strongly, which is ideal when printing, but it's really hard and could scratch the build plate after taking it off. Now I did have to print this small little piece that goes onto the limiter switch. I got this from Uncle Jesse's page on Thingiverse. It's a really small, easy, extended Z homing spacer, uh, which is really necessary for the Wham Bam flexible build plate. I ran into some issues without it, uh, mainly when I tried to zero it with the Wham Bam flexible build plate on there. Uh, I got some really weird print settings and with it on there, it was very easy to re-zero uh, just cause then my printer recognizes it with the limiter switch in particular. Now here are some prints I did. Now this one failed because of support structures and then this is a really nice Master Chief file by Photos Mint. I'll definitely share that in a future video. Now I was amazed how easily I was able to get this print off of my build plate. This would be a huge problem to get it off just because of the size and service area of the print. But with the flexible build plate it comes right off. Now here are some other ones that I made. Now these are actually things that I 3D modeled myself. They're just some quick emojis and I think they're really fun. Uh, definitely something cool to put on your desk. And I think I might even start an Etsy page with these and my other 3D sculpts. Definitely going to keep that in mind and I'll keep you guys updated for it. Overall I think the Wham Bam flexible build plate is an excellent buy for the Algo Saturn or any resin printer for that matter. It really makes getting things off the print bed all that much easier and definitely makes post-processing the prints a lot easier as well. These prints were also the first ones that I've done since updating my Elgu Saturn's firmware and I can definitely tell a difference from before. Uh, I definitely have no issues now in terms of, you know, the rising uh, too fast with the Z axis. Uh, that was a problem beforehand. So that's definitely good to see. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below. And until next time, build your nerddom.